Bum. We rolling? Hello everyone. Hi, it's Carrie. And as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm gonna try and switch it up a little bit. I'm going to go a day without my phone because if you follow me on Instagram, I've been kind of upset about my screen time and this isn't to shame anyone. I definitely have a pretty low screen time use actually. My average for this week is four, you cannot see, four hours and 14 minutes. I usually average in like the four hour range, which it used to be in the three hour range. And I find that I can directly see like the days when I'm happiest are the days when I am not on my phone as much. But one thing that concerns me is how often I pick up my phone just to like look at it. And one big reason I claim is because I'm constantly checking the time because I'm obsessed with scheduling, you know, how one does. Luckily, this video is actually sponsored by Nord Green, which is a really cool Scandinavian watch company. And they sent me over a watch, and so I can't use the excuse of like, I'm just checking the time on my phone for how many times I pick up my phone per day. And I've, I've been wearing it for a few days and <laughs> I still find myself reaching for my phone to check the time. So I'm really trying to break that habit and tomorrow um, I'm not gonna use my phone. This will be my timepiece. Yeah, so thank you to Nord Green. They are a, as I said, a Scandinavian company, but they're based in Copenhagen. Shout out to my Copenhagen vlog. I absolutely, you know how I feel about Denmark. You know that I also really love Scandinavian designers. So I have a lot of things from Hay and actually their head designer is Jacob Wagner, excuse me, uh, butchered that, but um, he has also designed for Hay and for Bang and Olsen. Anyway, he's just like an incredibly well-known designer who, just to add a few more things to his repertoire, also designs watches. I got the black strap as you can see, and you can also um, interchange them really, really easily. I also got the brown, and these are both vegan leather. I thought it was really cool that they had vegan options, along with being a company that's just pretty cool in general. They have something called the Giving Back Program, and so every time that you buy a watch, you get to choose from three different nonprofit organizations. You can choose where they send a portion of the money to, which I think is really great. I highly encourage you to check them out um, and you can use my discount code for the first three days if you're watching this really early. Thank you. The code Carrie Cake, just one cake, Carrie Cake, will give you 20% off and then after that it's good for 15% and they ship internationally. I don't know, I just thought they were a really cool company. So anyway, I am going to allow myself to use my phone once to wake up and just post that my new video is posted because I'm posting a video at 8 a.m. tomorrow. And um, I'm also going to use it for just one phone call at seven just because Kurt never knows when he gets off of work. So I'm gonna just call him to see when we're gonna get dinner. That is all. It's gonna be stressful because on days when I post a new video, I am like glued to my phone. I'll talk about that more tomorrow. Thank you again, Nord Green. You can check out my discount code again in the description box. <sighs> Let's go do this thing. See you tomorrow morning. Okay, there we go. Um, it is so hot today. It is literally only 10 a.m. and I am sweating. And as you can see, I am in like a tank top. I have an open back dress. It is hot. This morning was just kind of annoying. I don't use my phone too much in the morning. It was mainly just, I wanted to like check the comments and everything, how my video was doing, which I couldn't and that was annoying. But other than that, no big deal. But I'm going out to like the Hongdae area. Um, and the main thing I'm worried about is directions because I'm going to places that I've never been before. So I wrote down a post-it. I'm usually pretty good at memorizing maps, but first things first, we're gonna go to the movies. Um, the Shincheon CGV is having like an Audrey Hepburn 
movie festival and I've been craving, I've really wanted to watch My Fair Lady for a really long time. It's not the first time, it's like I've memorized that film, but it's a very long film and with my short attention span, it's very hard to like sit in my house and watch a three hour long video, so, or a three hour long movie. So I'm gonna go see it in theaters, which is gonna be really fun. I've never seen it in theaters. I'm gonna hop on the bus and hopefully I don't get lost. So the day begins. <laughs> to eat it in so long um, in so many ways it has changed in so many ways it has stayed the same very comforting with your two hands around my throat I will get a tan and die smiling these lower back pains will bait to dull aches like my yesterday's disaster my um for some reason on one of the machines my what's it called reservation code didn't work and so i actually did turn on my phone for a second to check my email but i realized that i didn't send the code to my email and i don't have the cgv app so there was like no way unless i went home to my computer to see the screenshot to find the correct code but luckily i just tried another machine and it worked <laughs> Um, but yeah, that was almost kind of a disaster because I was really excited to see this film. And also, today is the first official day of no more social distancing. Um, the government has decided that it is very much okay. The situation is very under control here. Um, so they've lifted all of that and the kids are going to start going back to school physically and all this stuff. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm only wearing my mask on like public transportation and when I order food. But... And I, I might wear it in here. So now we're gonna go watch My Fair Lady. Voilà la forêt sans retour de l'homme à quel directions I just have to apparently walk to the next intersection or the next crosswalk make a left and then make another left at it's either Harmony Mart or Harmony Grandma Mart we're not sure so yeah that's what we're gonna do there there's also a cool shop I might stop in along the way there's also a giant Pomeranian walking towards me it looks like a bear um, so I'm gonna go and I'll show you the palm if I can <laughs>
Okay, overall, wildly cute experience. So yeah, I couldn't find the first store that I was gonna go to. I actually must have walked past it, which isn't a huge deal because the other place I wanted to take you to, which was Muyu Muyu, is that stationery store that just has so many adorable stickers. Um, they also have like candles and soaps and all this stuff. Um, so that is right next door to the see-through cafe, which I'm sure you've heard about because they are famous for their like insane latte art. Um, the most common ones that they do are the pets that I showed you, but they also, I don't know how much they charge, but they also do like literally Van Gogh's Starry Night and stuff like that. Um, yeah, they're, they're wild, it, but they were so, nice I felt I don't know I feel like they must get so tired of people being like can I take a picture while you're doing this or whatever but they they didn't make me feel weird at all they were like yeah sure overall really good good experience and it was actually like really good it did not taste like coffee at all but it the cream was actually really good and the brown was straight up chocolate so it was just like a cup of sugar so how can you go wrong but um now I'm going to hit one more store as I walk towards my bus because um, Kurt wants to do some shopping and by shopping I mean he wants to buy one little thing um, after dinner so I'm gonna head home make sure that I beat the traffic um, to get all the way back to where I live on the other side of the city so yeah we're gonna we're gonna walk it is still so hot um, and yeah, stop at one more store where I hopefully won't buy anything. So, let's go. Okay, it's very possible that I'm lost. I do not remember on the map the street turning like this, but uh, gotta take our, take our chances. Hopefully it's around here. I don't think so. Okay, well, lost in Hongdae. What's new? I'm a rather big fan of taking wrong turns or just wandering and uh, it's a little difficult to do that when you don't have the map to write you anymore. But that's a film camera place. One second. The bus that we are getting on right now, I know it takes me close to my house, but I forget exactly where, so I'm just gonna get off wherever I think is closest to my house. I don't really know, but um, yeah, wow. It's really nice out, but it's like way too hot. So, uh, what a lovely day that was. Um, I'm gonna, so yeah, I'm gonna head home and I will catch you guys at my house. Bye. Okay, oh, sorry that my soap is a mess, but um, I am home and I am drinking so much water, it is so hot. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yes, this is the part that is pro sorry if you can hear the fan, I'm so scatterbrained, but yeah, it's, it's hot, I've got the fan on, focus carry. This is the hardest part for me when it comes to not looking at my phone. Um, if I'm like out filming, doing things, 
sometimes I will find myself scrolling a lot more than usual if I'm sitting in a cafe, but normally because I'm walking around, there are things to see, I'm not on my phone quite as much. Definitely when I'm like on the bus, I scroll, which I hate that I've started to do. I used to not ever look at my phone on the bus, but now that there's Wi-Fi, I do. Um, so it's, it's really when I'm like at home working, like doing things, I'll like work a tiny bit, pick up, check my phone, work a tiny bit, pick up, check my phone. Um, so yeah, it's here that I suffer the most, but I actually took notes for things that bothered me that I couldn't do. Um, number one, Shazam. <laughs> That cafe that I was in in the morning they were playing great music and I couldn't Shazam any of it and usually I would like try and write down some of the lyrics but a lot of them were in Korean and I honestly couldn't get enough of the lyrics to write down and then search later so that was a bummer like I said taking notes looking things up or trying to remember things the weather I found myself tr like wanting to check the temperature even though I could tell that it was hot. I don't know why I needed to know number, temperature, you know? So that was weird. Also, it was strange that like everyone was looking at my phone or looking at their phones. Like when I went to the bus stop and we, I was waiting for the bus, everyone was on their phones, which just felt weird that like I couldn't. So that was a thing. Also, um, this is for anybody who has asked me, gee, why don't you feel weird about vlogging in public? And that's because I usually use my phone and it's so much more discreet. And I don't know, something about vlogging with your phone feels like the people around you don't look at you as much. Like once you break out the full on camera, that's when I feel kind of strange like it it's much more noticeable so that was weird i found myself not taking as many videos as i normally do it, it just felt weird sending like this reminded me of you messages um i saw a few things that i wanted to like send to my friends and be like thinking of you um but then i couldn't and it feels weird to like i don't know i guess i could remember it it was just it's it's nicer to do it in the moment like now multiple hours later it feels a little weird to be like i saw this chair <laughs> and i thought of you which is the case which is <laughs> what i was gonna do but yeah that was pretty much it oh and then like setting a timer um like when i was sitting in that cafe i didn't want to sit there too long and like get to my movie late which of course i got to my movie super early um but normally i would kind of like set a timer just to remind myself like hey time to get going you know in case i get sucked into a book or something so that was another thing but overall felt good so yeah i'm i am gonna check my email just because people have been asking me about like what i'm doing because i quit my full-time job um and i'm just doing a lot of like freelancing things some of it is like editing some of it is voice acting which is like something i'm easing into but i don't really like so um yeah i i do have like a couple work emails that i need to answer so i am going to open up my computer and do that um but messaging my friends or whatever we're all in different time zones anyway so it doesn't really feel that weird that i'm not receiving or sending messages to them that much yeah overall it was a really nice day i think i'm i'm really really gonna try and get back in the habit of not using my phone on the bus because it was just so nice to just listen to my music and not look at anything else just look out the window i'm sorry that this video is gonna be so long and it's literally just me talking i'm gonna go i'm probably gonna like wash my face and do a face mask just because i got a lot of sun i didn't get sunburned though i know i looked red in some of the footage but that's just because i get hot i'm gonna do like a calming face mask and get this sunblock and sweat off of me so i'll catch you guys in a little bit i'm gonna answer some emails now and i promise i will not look at social media okay <laughs> bye <laughs> I just put more lotion on so I'm super shiny looking but um I am heading out I called Kurt and um actually a couple of our friends are going to dinner so we're gonna get yangkochi which is like meat on a stick and um but I've been promised that there's something I can eat there because there are three meat loving boys that I'm going with so um yeah 
I'm gonna walk over to Kurt's office and we're gonna go get some food. How lovely. Let's go. And I just completely left my phone in the apartment, um, which is nice. So, cause I figured the only person I would need to call in an emergency is Kurt and if I'm gonna go see him, why do I need my phone? So yeah, it is not with me at all. Wild. All right. I will just never get used to the Korean style of like how late you stay out. So one of our friends moved to another company, so we were like celebrating that. But we ate dinner, we went to a coffee shop, and we were about to walk home and then they were suddenly like, wanna get a beer? I'm like, no. So um, Kurt is gonna join them. They're gonna have their like man time. And I'm gonna go to sleep because <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm such a grandma. So anyway, I'm finding my way back home and uh, see you there. <sighs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm home. Literally falling asleep as I'm speaking. I don't know why my eye is so bloodshot. Usually that only happens when I'm looking at a screen, but I literally didn't look at a screen all day today. I'm not gonna look at my phone before bed or anything like that. But yeah, today was quite a nice day. I think today was also a really busy day, which made it quite easy to, to look at my phone less. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna um, read a little bit and pass out. So, bye. <laughs> Okay, so I survived. Um, this is the next day, and just to show you properly, let me, here we go, two minutes. I was on my phone, I was on my phone for two minutes. Overall, like I said, it was a busy day, so it wasn't like one of the days that I actually struggle with overusing my phone. I'm using, I'm wearing blue blockers because I have a lot of work to do actually. I'm gonna be having a lot of screen time today. Isn't that exciting? Thanks again to Nord Green for sponsoring this. Um, I. I actually really like this watch. I think you're gonna see it a lot. I, I quite like it. I got the very minimalist design. They're all pretty minimalist, but this one is like the most just classic, no bells and whistles, just really nice. Um, and you can choose from different sizes and everything. Anyway, um, again, my discount code is Carrie Cake. Carry cake, one cake. Um, and if you're watching this within the first three days that I've posted it, it's a 20% discount. And um, anytime after that, you'll still get a 15% off discount, which is great. And please remember that if you do buy a watch or strap or anything, when you get it in your box, there will be a little code in the pamphlet um, to show you how to give the money to the um, nonprofit organizations you can choose um, in the giving back program which I just think is really cool so yeah shout out to Nord Green again for sponsoring this thank you so much and um, yeah I will catch you guys later hopefully uh, we all kind of use our phones a little less I know it's so hard when when we're at home that I mean it's the days that I struggle the most so yeah but I do definitely um, I'm gonna try my best to just keep lessening the use of the phone it definitely does affect my my happiness my well-being so anyway um i am going to get back to work catch up on the things i was sort of supposed to do yesterday when i wasn't actually looking at my phone and um yeah i will catch you guys later but thank you always bye